the rifling machine in action. Uh, I've done a bunch of passes already through here. I am now working on the number four groove. The indexing pin allows me to set it exactly for each groove right there. The cutter is up. I've raised it about one and a half ten thousandths of an inch. I'm putting a little bit of cutting oil on the cutting head like that. Then I go down here, grab hold the end, pass it all the way down, back and forth. I usually do two passes back and forth depending on the depth of cut. Then I come back over here and there are the cuttings. It's just like steel wool, very fine steel wool. Um, so usually I don't use my finger because it will poke you like a bunch of little needles. So clear that out. Then I move to the next groove. So I'm on groove number five. Down. And there is a bunch of cuttings again. Now. Um, since I raise it about one and a half ten thousandths of an inch per pass, and I need three and a half thousandths of groove, I have about 20 passes times 12 grooves, so obviously this takes a little while to do. Now what I'm going to do here is I'll do the next pass so that you can kind of see the rotation of the cutter works. Shoot over at this end now where I'm going to be working here. So what I do is, you'll see this, maybe you will, maybe you won't, this rotates as I go down because there's a rack in here going to a pinion. The rack is a follower here, so as it comes down the track, you can see this moves in, 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 and in, 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 all the way. And then you can actually see the end of the rack right there in this piece of tube. And the only reason the tube is there is so the rack isn't hanging out in the breeze and me catching my fingers on it. Plus I use it a little bit as a handle. As I go back, it will suck that back in as it follows this, rotating the rod. And that's what gives us the twist in the groove. And then that twist is changed by what I'll do is I'll set it, let's say that this one's 27 inch twist. So I'll pull this to 27 inches and the diameter, I'm sorry, yes, the diameter of the pinion gear is one inch. So then I set to pi inches here. So then I'll have one twist in 27 inches when I set it. So that's basically how you run a little rifling machine.